In 2021, Egypt witnessed many unique and distinctive archaeological discoveries that resonated globally, and Archaeology magazine ranked the lost golden city in Luxor that was discovered by the Egyptian archaeologist Zahi Hawass. It is the best archaeological find in the world. For 2021, among 10 global discoveries, and described the American Egyptologist Betsy Bryan, this discovery is the second most important archaeological discovery since the discovery of the tomb of Tutankhamun. She explained, the discovery of this city not only gave us a rare glimpse into the life of the ancient Egyptians in the era of the empire, but it also helped shed light on one of the greatest mysteries in history, and why Akhenaten and Nefertiti decided to move to Amarna. The Golden City, the most important archaeological Discovery in the world by an Egyptian mission Found buried under the sand for 3,000 years The rise of the Atena year, until it was found buried Under the sands of Luxor, the southernmost City of Egypt, in September 2020 And the city finally won the first prize for The most important archaeological Discovery in the world during a ceremony Organized by the Mediterranean Exchange For tourism and antiquities the rise of the Aten gained its fame from its association with the golden pharaonic king, Tutankhamun, whose ancient tomb was celebrated by Egyptians from the 4th to the 6th of this month, hence one of the names that archaeologists assigned to it is the Golden City. And the city was found, whose place remained in the knowledge of the unseen for more than 3,000 years, thanks to an archaeological mission led by Egyptologist and former Egyptian Minister of Antiquities Zahi Hawass. The importance of the rise of the Aten lies in the fact that it is the largest ancient city found, and its founder is one of the greatest rulers of Egypt, Amenhotep III, the ninth king of the 18th Pharaonic Dynasty, who ruled Egypt from 1391 until 1353 BC, and his son, and future heir to the throne shared with him. Amenhotep IV, Akhenaten, during the last eight years of his reign, the largest administrative settlement. This city is considered the largest administrative and industrial settlement in the era of the Egyptian Empire on the west bank of the city of Luxor, where houses were found with some walls up to about three meters high, and they are divided into streets, Although the history of the lost city dates back to the reign of King Amenhotep III, it continued to be used by King Tutankhamun, that is, 3,000 years ago, when the excavation work on the rise of the Aten began in September 2020, formations of mud bricks began to unfold in all directions within a few weeks, and the members of the archaeological mission were amazed when it became clear that the site is a large city in good condition, and its walls are almost complete, in addition to the presence of rooms filled with the tools of life, daily, and the archaeological layers have remained unchanged for thousands of years, and their ancient inhabitants left them as if they were yesterday. The discovery of this historic city caught the attention of archaeologists around the world, so that Betsy Bryan, a professor of Egyptology at Johns Hopkins University in the United States, considered that the discovery of this lost city is the second important archaeological discovery after finding the tomb of King Tutankhamun. Scientifically, the discovery of the Golden City not only gave a rare glimpse into the life of the ancient Egyptians in the era of the empire, but it would also help shed a halo of light on one of the greatest mysteries in history and the reason for Akhenaten and Nefertiti's decision to move to Amarna, which is the capital, the new one established by King Akhenaten in northern Upper Egypt, now Minya Governorate. The discovered city is located between the temple of King Ramses III in Medinet Habu and the temple of Amenhotep III in Memnon. The Egyptian mission began working in this area in search of the mortuary temple of Tutankhamun, and it was King A, 
the successor of Tutankhamun, who built his temple on a site that was later adjacent on its southern side too. The Temple of Ramses III in Medinet Habu. The first goal of the archaeological mission was to determine the history of this city, and it succeeded in that after. Hieroglyphic inscriptions were found on ceramic lids for wine vessels. Cartouche seals of King Amenhotep III. Historical references indicate that the city consisted of three royal palaces of King Amenhotep III, in addition to the administrative and industrial center of the Egyptian Empire. It is noteworthy that he received the first prize for the most important archaeological discovery in the world, in a large ceremony organized by the Mediterranean Tourism and Antiquities Exchange, in the Italian city of Postum.